Okay, so let's start. And uh, in this short video, I will uh, show you briefly a simple proof of concept of how to move Excel files into a planner. So this is the use case. Uh, one of the customer needs to find a way to import tasks from Excel into planner directly so that uh, they don't have to do it manually because uh, there are a lot of tasks there. And uh, to start with, we create a table in Excel with uh, columns like bucket, name and description. Those will be the buckets uh, respectively to planner and uh, tasks, names and descriptions. This is a very simple file, it can be expanded, but this is a good start. Of course, this part we delete and then I save this file. It's saved automatically in my uh, Gmail account. And uh, now we go, I log in to Office 365 and uh, start. Uh, first thing to start with, I need to have some kind of planner where these tasks will be populated. In our case, I uh, already have planner. And it's a very simple one. You see it's empty. There is only to-do bucket and it's a called test. So basically this is our planner. And then uh, the first step, what I need to do is to create a flow. Uh, I, I go to my flows and here I, I select new, create from template. And then I create search for the following template. Uh, Planner tasks from Excel. So there is a template already used 246 times from Microsoft. Make sure you have the proper connection set up. Here I have uh, my uh, planner connected to the dev environment. And of course, Excel is connected to my uh, uh, Gmail or Google Drive account. Um, so this because the file is located there uh, and um, I click continue here what I get it's a scheduled uh, template so first I need to select an interval we put it one once per day so this uh, flow runs one time per day and it uh, uh, gets the file of course first we need to locate this file it's right here and then we can select the table name the table name is called task here we can leave it uh, like this for our proof of concept uh, I do not do really uh, detailed conditioning uh, here is very simple. I put something like, you know, we we'll look in the task name, and if the task name contains a, in our example, it means that it's not empty. Then I uh, go ahead and create a task in our planner called test. The title of the task can be given to this one it take it's taken from our file uh, from Excel table and the bucket I can select here I put to do the bucket uh, start date and time all these things let's see what else we need here uh, there is a small delay here and then we can update the description in our case we keep it real simple and just update the description to the one from our excel file this part i delete for now so we have a very very simple flow which does the following it runs every day right it gets all the rows from the Excel file you saw in the beginning. 
uh, it checks applies for each value uh, so for each row in Excel checks if the name in this row contains a and if it's the case then uh, it creates a task of course we could put a different condition but this is just for the proof of concept to make sure that this flow works uh, here is a description yes that we take from the um, Excel file and now we save so basically the the flow is created just to make sure we have proper connections uh, we need to save it so the flow is saved uh, here we check our connections oh no sorry connections here So here I have one connection to uh, Google Drive and second one is to Planner. Both of them in good status. So I get back to Flows and I click Edit and now I can check on this. Flow Checker, zero error, zero warnings and then I can test. I select this one for the first time and I run the flow. The run the flow run successfully started I check the activity of the flow it's succeeded and six seconds ago so it's running to update the description from my understanding so let's uh, refresh we get success for both. So now if I go back to the test planner, I see some tasks. In this case, you know, I, I, I get several tasks. If I click on the task, the description is also updated. It looks like I ran the flow twice, so the tasks are doubled. But you get the idea, right? You, you can use the flow. Um, to create tasks uh, based on Excel spreadsheet and it works pretty well so thank you very much for watching if you have some questions please send a message to me have a very good day and uh, uh, great learning bye bye